As Professor Farnsworth would say, good news everyone. Pharonix, the go-to site for Linux news, is reporting that Core Control, the go-to Linux utility for squeezing some extra performance and or efficiency from your system's GPU, well AMD GPU, and CPU is now available on Debian's Unstable branch, and that Ubuntu is making the package available for Lunar Lobster, Ubuntu's next release, version 23.04, on its universal repository. Hopefully, this means that other distros in the Debian family will also make Core Control available too, as they release new versions in the coming months. I'm thinking specifically of Linux Mint, for those of us who are Snapiverse, and others like Pop OS. This is great news because up until this point, users of Debian and Debian-based distros have had to install Core Control in an error-prone fashion, unlike on other distros like Arch, Fedora, OpenSUSE, and Gentoo, where Core Control has been available by their respective package managers. Seeing as distros like Ubuntu and Linux Mint are often the recommended distros for people who would like to try Linux for the first time, a process that involves changing system configuration files to manually tell the system not to update to the absolute latest version of a program might be something that deters prospective Linux users and gamers from staying on Linux. Hopefully, Debian, or at least some of the distros based on Debian, will start to include proper dependencies for MangoHUD too, and eventually MangoHUD itself, also Goverlay, in their package repos. Oh, what's MangoHUD, you may be asking? It's a utility that offers hardware monitoring, among other features, and when paired with Core Control, nearly acts as a Linux drop-in equivalent to Windows's MSI Afterburner suite. But anyways, if you're familiar with the Debian philosophy and ecosystem, you know that everything with Debian takes time. So I thought I'd chime in and offer an opinion about this good news without any ensuing absurdity. What do you think about Debian and Ubuntu taking the first steps to make core control available for future releases? Is it a signal that the Debian ecosystem is ready to keep up with the ever-changing world of Linux gaming-oriented utilities? Leave your thoughts below. And until next time.